What is up, Creative Gang? Episode number 39, right before 40 episodes. Let's get her going. First things first. Kaile, Kaile, Kaile. Cheers, brother. Cheers, man. Let's go. Episode 39, baby. Let's get it, bro. Let's get it. First things first, if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel in the Frame Podcast, Go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Go ahead, subscribe. Stop lurking. Do your thing. Yes, sir. If you're on Spotify, Apple, share your shit or share it on uh, your story, man. Yeah. That's at least, and tag us. Yeah, that's all we ask for. Bro, so, my man, how you been? Chilling, man. Um, all day. I, I went for a shoot today. Mm-hmm. Um, first time working with this client and how shot this shot this video. It went really smooth. Yeah. Pre production is everything, man. Um, it went really good shot it and edited it i was so inspired about the video that i even went i went straight home and edited okay. the whole fucking thing okay and, and, chill. okay <laughs> yeah and deliver the video what was the shoot at within 10 hours oh um sent downtown san diego in the okay. gas lamp area oh um he ran out this co- co-host spa- uh, co-work space in mm. downtown it was very very nice it was super cool it's a really it was a dope vibe um and i was like i said i was so inspired from that video that i freaking edited the whole thing and delivered it within 10 hours hey. and yeah he fell in love with the video man so it worked out really good hell yeah, yeah. bro yeah what, um, about you? what have you been up to well shit we just got done with the shoot last week yeah um lately i've been getting into like this fitness um niche, bro same right yeah so, i love it like it's just like fi- working with fitness people is just like really inspiring and, and like hearing like their energy and everything but really dope having you there yeah um it was cool yeah conditions weren't as as um desirable um granted the client only paid for a certain amount of time so i was like dude like it's golden hour but you know we gotta right call it a day and um i made the best of it definitely a fun shoot um talent was really really fun to work with yeah super um, cool cool man yeah what did Um, you think no it was really cool it was a great shoot it was my first time working with a fitness influencer, I guess you want to call it. Mm-hmm. Um, so, and I've told you this in the B, I've told you this like off air, like I want to work with more fitness people. I want to work with athletes. That's like my goal right now. Yeah. It's like work with athletes and do lately. Like you, you put it out in the world and the world reciprocates. That. Exactly. Like it just gives you what you want. And so you put the energy out and the mother nature does this thing and it gives you uh-huh. the energy to you. And so like yes, sir. lately, dude, I've been working with, like, I have like four like athletes lined up in the near future. So it's like, yeah, it's been fucking crazy, man. And like, there's this one athlete that, that hit me up that wanted to do some video no, work. But messy. <laughs> <laughs> I will say the school of where he's from. He's from Notre Dame, bro. And so he wanted Rudy? to do. Yeah. <laughs> stupid ass <laughs> yeah. Rudy, so he Rudy. wanted to work but like we're gonna i'm going i'm i'll be gone that weekend to the bachelor party which nah, i mean um, that's next week but nah, i mean you guys don't follow it, it most most necessary yeah man y'all y'all tripping where can they follow you bro Fuck uh a, a underscore mendoza where can probably follow you peter collins uh guys peter collins actually because that's where my <laughs> naughty shit is gonna be at man <laughs> you're gonna have to pay a subscription fee if so you guys up. if you guys want to see what we're gonna be up to uh that weekend um Definitely follow us in our personal account. It's definitely not in the frame podcast worthy stories, nah. but uh, it's gonna get a little wild. That's that rated X triple X rated shit. You yeah, know it's, what I mean? it's, yeah, it might fucking go for OnlyFans. Who knows our Patreon? Uh, like, <laughs> but nah, definitely follow us, man, because we're always posting like behind the scenes shit. That yeah, I was posting behind the scenes it. today. I again, I forget to freaking post on in the frame podcast, dude. Like, I feel you, bro. Um, but I did post stories on my personal account. So if you guys want to get to know, you'll see me riding the one wheel with my full camera rig. Um, so yeah, man, I always get asked questions about the one, re- the one wheel. Like, I feel like one wheel should like cough up a check, bro. Like the most, the amount of promotion I'm giving them, bro. Like it's insane. Yep, bro. You know, you know how it is. How is, how's the wheel holding up though? Fantastic, man. I do have the cheaper version quote unquote cheaper version Is there like holes or like dance and shit on so the I'll, I'll start off with the price for i'm sure most people are, yeah, are curious numbers. about that so this price for the when we'll have the, the pint and that's cost a, a little bit over a thousand dollars it's not cheap at all yeah. um it's still very expensive um definitely more expensive than scooter facts and no but there's a big brother version which is the xr that costs like 1900 dollars. and how fast is your shit going mine goes 16 miles an hour max it could hold up to 250 pounds okay um and it for what i need it for it does a really great job so it's definitely big boy friendly 
Yes, but, yes, definitely. Um, the XR probably holds a little bit more weight, and it goes like I believe it goes like 19 miles an hour, 20 miles an hour. Um, damn. It's not that much of a difference, but it does have a, a better battery life. I mean, like that one time I said I went to shoot with Rafi in LA. Yeah. I did like 10 miles that day, and it's still yeah. I still have like 20% left it of battery up. left. So uh, I can only imagine the XR, it could probably do like 20 miles, which is but. insane. Um, but yeah, man, no free ads, but here we are. Damn. So um speaking of your um fuck i forgot what the fuck i was one gonna wheel? say bro no you're um uh, yeah so like you haven't had any damages on your one wheel it's only as off. of right now i fell once but that was like the second time using it um i got a little too ballsy with the camera or you no, 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 no 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 of course not i was just writing it trying to get to know the the machine mm. uh but no i i'm a pretty cautious person dude um granted i do ride on the streets with cars with not without a helmet which is kind of stupid but um yeah, i try to go against the um i almost said current i try to the go hill? against no no, no I, I go against um traffic oh, okay so i could see what's going on in front of me because i've heard way too many stories like i, I remember hearing the story from an old co-worker of mine at the hospital his roommate got hit by a car he was jogging on the biker lane yeah. going with the traffic and he yeah. got hit from behind yeah. and he was never the same and i've heard that story many times so like I always got scared for my brother because he would he still rides bikes like he does like long distance biking, and he rides in the bike lane. And I legit told him that like yo like have a, one of those like little reverse mirrors like that goes in your helmet, which yeah. he doesn't wear a helmet. You know you know you know my brother. Yeah. And so like I always get scared for him like he's gonna get hit from the back because it happens really often. And I don't know why you're laughing, dude. <laughs> because you get, you get that call like hello. And you're like, <laughs> remember we, we did that call Big one time, sir. Big sir? This motherfucker one time we went to Big Sur and I'm like, yo, bro, chill with that cliff. Like, like he was, I was like, getting ballsy. Yeah, I was like, bro, like it's raining. Like it's gonna. It was that it was time. raining. It was that time when when it was raining for like two weeks straight in California. And and there was mudslides. Yeah, and then I was like, bro, like I'm out the car and mom, but like, yo, yo, your son's gone. <laughs> and then I was like, we started cracking up. But anyways, up. um, I feel like that was a pretty um normal thing because I used to know this person who used to run, and they were like, oh, like, and I went running with them, training them. Or I went training with them, and they were like, "Yo, we always run against the traffic." Right. And um, but yeah, that's, I don't that's, know why that's not a common thing, like a common practice where bicyclists literally ride against traffic. Yeah, it'll change up the rules for like the entire nation or the state, whatever it's going on. Yeah. It just it's so foreign to go against traffic because everyone's riding in the bike lane with traffic. Um, I know we're super off topic right now, but like when it comes to the one wheel. I'm like, fuck this. I'm going against traffic all the time. Well, shit, so I can see bro. what's going on in front of me. And if something were to pop off, like something, if I see like someone swerving, like I could literally jump off and be yeah. like, all right, I'm safe. Like, you know, um, granted my one wheel could get destroyed, but it's all good. I'd rather have that destroyed in my life. Exactly. So, um, shit, we don't think we didn't even talk about the shoot. My fucking light fell again. <laughs> Like even with that was my, my first time seeing that fall. Uh, usually I have my foot on the C stand and like while I don't talking. know why you don't have a backpack or a sandbag, dude. I told because you because I I, we were, I told you like we were, it was a high tide. It was like rocks. You saw the texture of the yeah. fucking dirt. It was like rocks and like we got into conversation. And I let go of my foot and I started talking to you guys and I was like and then you're like Pete. I was like oh fuck. Like, I tried boom. grabbing it yeah. And then I was like God damn it! Like this is what happens when you like you lose focus for a little bit, but yeah. It still works. You were having conversation with your clients, so it's you're not losing focus. You're yeah. engaging, which is good. True, and but I just like got my foot off the because it was like I was just like focused, different, derived, and, yeah. and I was like, what the hell? Like, like how the fuck did it fall? Like I was pissed, and then it, it got me in a bad mood. But either you kept way, it pretty cool, at least yeah. in front of me and but her. Deep inside, bro, I was like, what the fuck, man? If I broke this shit, I'm pissed. But yeah, it I worked am, out. It worked. I am looking to upgrade to uh, eighty, maybe in like an eighty six hundred. Is that the light? Uh, yeah, it's it's eighty two hundred pro, the one I have, and then eighty four hundred, and then eighty six hundred. So this shoot was about okay. What? Talk to me in plain English. Like, so are, sh- are you A B or C tier? Um, I'm like the so right now the so Godox just came out with the eighty one hundred, which is like a flash the size of this, and it's um I don't know. I don't know what the numbers are, 100 watts, or I don't know. You guys can fact check me, whatever. Mm-hmm. 80, 8100, the new one that came out, is lower than the one I have. I have the 8200 Pro. Um, so, like I said, A, B, or C, where, 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 where are you at? There's like, I don't know, bro, because I wouldn't tell you off the top of my head. I know there's a 8100 that's new, mm-hmm. that's portable, like the size of this. 8200 Pro, the one I have, which is like the size of that. Right. 
and then there's a AD400, which is a little bit bigger, and then an AD600, and then it goes on. But nice. I would say mine is the most. I would say mine is the bare minimum you need for a daylight photography session. Right. To where you can still use the shit. And you know, you like, go check out my page. And that was a fucking 4.30, Yeah. Full, de- full sun. Blown out. And um, it still worked. But I feel like I need to upgrade to like an AD600. Do you think it'll make a huge difference in your game? In the um, final product, because I mean, I feel like you're at a, a you're game. really at a high standard, no, at, least, a, at least to my eyes. Thank you, bro. And uh, I have a trained eye, let alone a client's eyes has untrained eyes. Yeah, it's it's hard to stay humble. Where am I? You know what I mean, like, <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. That's OP. That's episode one. Yeah, you don't want people shitting on you right I now. Know, I was like, <laughs> just like, yeah. <laughs> nah, um, I feel like it would take a little bit of um. It's one of those things where, like, okay, you're I'm at a level where I need that extra little. Kind of like kind of like Mar was saying, like you're always looking to improve. Yeah, and I, I love if you guys haven't checked that out, go check out Mar's episode because insane he, episode. He brought a really good home, like a point home where I was like, like you're me and you are always like studying the game, and yeah. you have to be a student of the game, no matter what level you are. You can never get cocky. You can never get like not humbled. Like somehow, you're allowed to always, talk your shit here and there, King. Yeah. And, but somehow like there's always going to be somebody better than you no Thanks. matter what yeah. so like that your goal is to keep evolving and that's what um me and you always strive for facts facts so bro. like that little bit of uh 8600 pro i feel like could take me to the next level so would you consider selling your i'll probably keep it for a second a uh, second light sure I, I was telling shelby i was like like dude like i forget i have a 32 inch parabolic really expensive quick release um umbrella like just hanging out on my fucking it's collecting uh, dust. Yeah, it's just like in my house. I also have a 25-inch be- or 26 uh, beauty dish that I rarely use. Um, but, yeah. Are I'm you cool. one of those hoard- like gear hoarders? No, I just I happen to buy stuff and experiment with it. If it doesn't work, I don't use it. I found my sweet spot. So you know you I'm- could always rent stuff and experiment it and then always give it back. And That's not- just a hassle for me, bro. I, I'd rather, I'm one of those type of people like. Yeah, you're definitely a buyer. I, I want to, I want to have it in my hands. I want to keep it for as long as I want. Scratch and until, it up. <laughs> until I ma- until I master and favor the one I want, then I'll keep it. Right. Um, but yeah, that's just me. Speaking of, um, I failed to mention, uh, another shoot I had during this week was, uh, I shot with Rafi. Um, I helped, uh, do a little bit of camera. Oh, I was going to ask you about that. With okay. the music video that he directed. <laughs> Um, it was a cool video. She like drove all the way from Barstow. Barstow? Fuck. Yes, to San Diego, to downtown San Diego to shoot this video. Is that why you guys were like at fucking midnight in downtown? Yes, we started shooting around 8 p.m. and we got done around close to midnight. Damn. Yeah, because he wanted that night vibe. Um, this guy went crazy with it. Like he created a mood board. He was teaching me all these things. Rafe? Yes. Oh, damn. Yeah, so I, you should be excited for him to film I told your, Rafe, your I like, uh, wedding film. I just had him after our shoot. Like he came over to my house and then he, I was like, yo, like I want to create like a mood board. And I was like, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with them. Like, yeah. He actually is. He sent me a, a template that just, I'm using now. Just to set the tone, like what you want and like make the client and the It's kind of like reassuring product. that you know yeah. that you're the expert in the field. And you want to be on the same page. Exactly. Um, so I was able to use my one wheel as well there. So that came in really clutch. He had a gear malfunction. His DJI Ronin S gimbal fell on him and he couldn't figure out what was happening. We thought it was broken. Damn. Long story short, it wasn't broken, but during the shoot, he thought it was, we, I thought it was too, cause I was trying to fix it. I was be able to fix it. It kept drifting. And so I'm like, dude, good thing I'm here. Use my gimbal, use my camera, use my lenses. Yeah. And do your thing. And so I kind of want to do this product review on YouTube. I don't know. I don't know if I still want to do it yet, but we, I don't know if you guys saw my story. I purchased recently purchased these um, prism lens, prism lens effects. Yeah. Um, shouts to the, uh, the buff nerds. Um, so which one did you get? I was going to ask you that. It's because uh, I know it goes with the kit and like. Three. No, no, no. I, there's a few filters out there. And the cool thing about prism lens effects, like, dude, this is no ads but fuck it we're here they're so affordable man compared to polar pro yeah so rafe would always show me like prism lens effects on their instagram i'm like those are cool but i can imagine them being like 200 dollars, like polar pro style yeah and i went to their website just curious and i'm like holy shit these are pretty affordable they're just as expensive as the regular indie filters that i buy that are like 60 to 70 dollars 
They're about 70 bucks. And it's uh, it's still fairly expensive, but in camera world, it's not expensive, if that so, makes any sense. So for the creative game member out there, like plain terms, is it affecting the light exposure? Is it affecting what? Is so affecting? what this does, it's the one that we specifically got. I don't freaking remember the name of it. I got the ND filter that hasn't come out yet. It's a variable ND filter that I'm going to replace mm, okay. my old Tiffin because I hate that Tiffin ND filter. And I got this like effects one where it, it gives it like... It gives it like an anamorphic look with like the lights that are just like, I don't know how to explain it, man. It's something you got to see. Glare or something? Yes. Like, gotcha. Kind of like that. I don't know if you, I remember you saw my stories. Yeah. Guys, follow us on our stories, man. I'll, A underscore Mendoza, Peter Cullen Frames. Um, Listen out, bro. Yeah. Uh, I posted those and I was getting crazy feedback because I, I was filming Rafi with my one wheel. He was on a skateboard downtown San Diego. That's one I remember. At night. And it's literally, I'm seeing all these lights from like the cars the city lights and it's like it has that crazy glare look it's super cool looking it gives that anamorphic look yeah um for those that know who know my instagram like i'm always using the same two filters on instagram creative either ryan. creative ryan <laughs> or the anamorphic look yeah so it gives that like night that light shift that's so sick man it looks so fucking butter and so we were experimenting with experimenting with that and it came out super dope anyways i was able to create this shot with the artist, with my one wheel. I'm like, I, a last second idea. I'm like, yo, we should do this with this, with blah, 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 blah. And he was like, dude, yeah. that's amazing. Let's fucking do it. But I don't trust myself with a one wheel. You do it. I'm like, hell yeah, I got you. And it came out sick, bro. Like, I hell can't wait yeah. for that edit to come out. So we've been, we, him and me and Rafe have been talking a lot about, personally, I hate directing music videos. Why is that? I don't, I feel like I don't have the creativity for it, man. Boy, you shy, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I, I no, I swear, like I just don't have that energy to like come up with a concept, come up with the mood board, and direct it, man. Like I, I've always said this to every like all my close colleagues, including you, and I'm like, I'd rather fucking film. Tell me what to do. I'll do a camera op the whole time. Damn. Like I don't want to think of anything else. I just want to fucking shoot, frame, okay, okay, frame and shoot. And so like me and Rafe were talking, like yo, like we really worked really good together, like. So this is music video that I'm going to shoot. And I'm like, hey, how about you direct it? Come up with the concept and I'll freaking be your camera operator. Yeah. And so like we agreed on a, on like how we're going to do this. And it's like it's been working out pretty good so far. That's good that you came up with the logistics. And, yeah. you know, then to to the creative member out there, like you don't always have to be like the fucking director. Fact. Like, you don't have to be the the brains of everything. Yeah. Yeah. Like. It's like knowing your place. Like, yo, I'm not good at that. Like, I'm, I'm step back. I know my strengths. Yeah, exactly. So, like, I, I was gonna say that with Mar, but we didn't have. I like it was like super emotional, as you can see. <laughs> um, you have to know your strengths. You can't front strengths and weaknesses. Yeah, your strengths and weaknesses. You can't front a strength that you don't have because the client, the per, the colleague that you're working with is gonna straight up be like, yo, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Like, yeah, like you don't know how to do that. Yeah, and I, I like I said, dude, I. I don't know if it's lack of creativity or I just not that interested. Like I don't want to come up with the concept. I don't want to put that energy in th of creating a concept of a music video. Like that's not for me. Um, and Rafi has a crazy imagination as you know. Fuck yeah. And so like, this is perfect for him. We figure out how we do the splits with the payment and whatnot <laughs> when it comes to like the budgeting. And so it's been working out really good, man. Um, we have a phone call tomorrow with an artist, so it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. We're all gonna be in the call together, and it's gonna be amazing, man. I'm gonna he's gonna pay me my full day rate when it comes to filming, and yeah. I don't have to edit it. Which you know me, I'm not the I don't love editing. People, people, I feel like people don't get that. Like editing is hard, bro. Like, dude. It's so hard. Like it's it, there's a difference between editing, being good at editing. Um, and then being good at like camera work, it's yeah. just two different beasts. Yeah, I, I yes, I'm sacrificing money, but at the same time, I'm comfortable with what I'm receiving for that filming rate. Yeah, I shoot, give them the media, and you do whatever you got to do with it, and yeah. then I'm happy. Like I'm, I'm satisfied with what I'm getting. Yeah. So, so let's go on to. But wait a minute. Do you want to? Do you have any strengths and weaknesses that you want to elaborate? Yeah, the game? I'll make you feel better, bro. <laughs> Shit, this. <one. laughs> I know you're a god and shit, but nah, damn, bro. Um, like I said, before we started beginning this part, I was hella awkward when we talked to people. Like, you know me. Like, you were like, shy. You were a shy kid. You would always be like, yo, Pete, like, why can't you be like this when we're hanging out with other people? Because I was always afraid 
of like people like that was my fear like people like judging me for who i was and mm-hmm. not being accepted and then one time i was like listening to my homie lewis um who's a really close homie now <laughs> no, i'm just kidding um he said one time he was Wait, like lewis who goes how the game lewis now, bro lewis how yo i've been on this guy's podcast since 2011 yeah or something i remember you telling me way back dude 2011 when i was in college bro and i was like dude this guy's out to something school of greatness yeah exactly and um he said one time he's like he's like yo the only people that are going to criticize you are the people who are never above you but below you so what does that mean creative game that means that the motherfucker who's below you jealous as fuck he's ain't doing shit with his life he's gonna anguish and like relinquish like all these like emotions towards you and be like yo like fuck that guy he ain't doing shit like look at me because he ain't accomplishing his goals and that's exactly how i got through my shit i'm like yo hold up like i got a little taste like like yo p you funny like blah 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 and then the snowball effect and then i was you like, would say you're funny yeah yeah and i was like what the fuck like, i am funny then that just like my, i manifested that and then people were like laughing and then i was like shit i should be a comedian but nah, <laughs> i'm better in photography <laughs> but you got what i'm trying to say is that you just gotta like manifest and like i'm saying manifest not a lot more <laughs> you're just trying to like you gotta be who you are just man. work on yourself yeah so like basically like you just gotta work on yourself and realization will come to you like like what the fuck are you fearing are like, you saying you're saying some generic shit bro i'm gonna I'm 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 test you right now. i'm gonna push you i'm gonna do a little pushback how were you able to get over the obstacle of feardom of like people judging you um i think it was just coming of age thing man like honestly like i grew older you mature the older you uh, get there's a thing saying like the yeah. older you get the less shit you give a fuck yeah it was like where i was like dude like i've gone through stuff it's all about experience experience brings the best out of you i believe um it's the same thing with like time will heal stuff right so right when you have your heart your first heartbreak like, you're like oh my god like it was it was horrible bro it was your you emo. Me, you should have seen me crying like a little bitch. Yeah, like we're all emo, right? We're like, that's the end of the world. I'm yeah. never going to find anybody. You go through your grievances, and then all of a sudden, you're like, yo, what the fuck? Like, there's, I still have my whole life ahead. I'm right. 22. I'm 23. Let's fucking run it, bro. Let's, let's, let's run that back, and let's make it correct. And then that's when you fucking find out who you really are. Right. You know, you get knocked down. The only the only way is up. The only way is up. Yeah. That's, a, that's the number one thing that kept me going. Like, the right. only way is up. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm in the mud. Like. Every, every, like our some of our uh, guests have been i'm like yo fuck this shit let's go back up and my weakness was like why was in why was i in the mud because self-consciously i was like okay um i feel that people are judging me okay right. step back who's judging you they ain't doing better than me than the same boat if not worse than me like right. what the fuck like what am i why am i praising their fucking judgment like yo fuck that shit bro like i'm better than that so then that's what like i was like what the fuck and then the more i saw myself in the mirror and i was like oh like how am i affecting other people i'm affecting other people by laughing i'm affecting other people by like making their day a little bit better right that gives you confidence and then that makes you be like yo what the fuck like yo i've been in the shell like let me let me let me break out of that shell that's Damn exactly right, what went through right. my head bro this boy out here spitting right Bars now of the week bitch what's up <laughs> I was flicked on the camera, yeah. <laughs> but like, you just gotta be like, you gotta come with that realization, like, like, yo, bro, like, you've been fucking hiding this little shell, like, yo, step out, like, you were a in a people. shell for a few years, bro. I've known you yeah. for a long time. I was because I was afraid because I, I it was not. Nah, take that, I take that back. I wasn't even afraid. I was like, who are the people that deserve to um to see this part of me? So I was like, yeah, okay, so like. Like, you obviously one of my best friends. So, like, I was like, yo, like, he can only see this. I'm right. not, why the fuck would I let this other stranger know who the fuck I am? Right. And that is a lot of ego that takes part of, like, who I am. And I have a, I had ego problems. Right. I was like, I was like, yo, fuck this, fuck that, fuck this, fuck that. Not my problem, this problem, this and that. But at the end of the day, it's like, you have to look, like I said, coming of age, figuring out who you are, seeing the bigger picture how can you contribute to this world so then that's when i was like yo like if i'm myself i can help somebody have a better day if i if i'm myself i can help somebody learn something if i'm myself i can help some, brighten somebody's day and then they're gonna have a rest of the day and then that's gonna be a snowball effect and that's gonna help somebody else and that's pretty much it man that, that, that's Damn. that was my weakness as a as a young buck i feel like this podcast is like a little therapy session bro. like i knew I knew, I know the moment when you broke out of that show, like, you're like, 
Fuck it. I don't care. When was I'm, it, bro? I'm going to wear some dad sandals. <laughs> I'm going to wear some beat ass fucking um, sweater that I got from the Goodwill. Yeah. Um, you stopped caring about what people thought. I'm like, all it's right. It's all about man. my personality. But I never thought, I never knew about the backstory, like what you were thinking at the time. Like what yeah. made that transition happen until fucking today, honestly? Yeah. It's just about, dude, I'm, I'm a, like, like I'm you, a do very... not, you do not care, which it's something I do appreciate. Yeah, you wear, you wear whatever the fuck you want to wear. You you want to wear a gold watch with some fucking pinky rings and index ring and a shit. middle fu- middle Go finger back. ring, looking powerful <laughs> as hell, looking like Thanos and shit. Yeah, like man. you would do that. I remember going to the club with you, looking the like fucking wild. Yeah, dude, <laughs> like I was really extravagant, and it goes to show you that's when I, like I peaked. Like you, every everybody out there has has um who uh, a mindset who they want to be, man. And and at the end of the day, it's like okay, con- like who do you want to be? um what's what's like what is your fuck i forgot the fucking word um what are you trying to say not your peak but like what's what's what can you control i don't know what it is man just find who the fuck you are and at the end of the day there you go in plain english like motherfuckers motherfuckers we be quoting me now like you're gonna die like you're gonna die you're gonna <laughs> die like i saw this reel one time or i saw this reel like not too long ago like two days ago it's like you're gonna die. Who cares? I'm like, yo, you better be caught me on that motherfucker. <laughs> you, better, you better throw me some it's flowers. From San Diego. It's from San Diego. But I was like, oh, I'm you like, know you you're gonna to die, bro. Like you're gonna die, and it doesn't matter. Like be who you are. And judging can be judged by whoever. Yeah. Like, like fuck you. Like there it is. Like judge me who the fuck I am, and that's it. Yeah, so, as long as you're happy, it's all that matters. Yeah. Um, the way I see it, find who you are, and how can you contribute to this universe that you know keeps revolving and and you can put your part and that's the end goal well well fuck you just completely shitted on my weakness of lack of creativity compared to your bro (laughs) it's because i'm a little bitch (laughs) i'm weak i'm so fucking weak yo fuck this shit i'm out see the fact that you can admit that like like i know you're joking right now but you actually mean it but like it's no weak bro (laughs) (laughs) like yo pete make me look good just be weaker than me oh Man, no, 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 no. That's, that's respects, man. Um, the fact that you were able to overcome that because I, I feel like oh, shit, there's people our age that are still in the shell where they they pretend there's someone that really not. Yeah, man, fuck and it. there's like, there's people out there that like they they they, they throw this front on Instagram like, hey, yep. I'm this person, but in reality, we know who you are, bro. Bro, we know, check, we know who you are, bro. Check my check my fucking story, bro. Like my personal page, like I'm not gonna say what the fuck where where it's at, but you can figure it out. I be I be throwing some sarcastic shit, man. Like like <laughs> I'll be saying fuck this, fuck that. Like yo, like don't take me seriously. Like you can't take yourself seriously, man. Like at the end, well, of the to day, an extent, yeah. Like you can't take yourself seriously to where like you make your life look perfect or like um if you if you want to show off, it's fine. Like show it off. Don't yeah, don't make stunt. Don't stunt in a way where it's like it's weird, you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's or it's awkward. Like when I stunt, I'm well, like cringe worthy. Like, fuck this shit. Yeah. Like I make it funny, I make it this relatable and yeah. this and that. But like for example, the bachelor party, we're, we're gonna stunt. Yeah, we're gonna stunt, bro. <laughs> Dude, I just ordered some bottles, bro. You go check it out, man. Go check bottles, out no, 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 I'm just bottle bottle service. <laughs> I don't know, bottle shit, true. Shit. Um, no, but like fuck. Oh my god, I just had a brain fart right now. I had to get a good, good topic about when it comes to like stunting and whatnot. Like, Fuck, go ahead. What do you mean? Carry on, no, carry on. um, it's all good. Like, we're not, this is an episode that we're, it's only you and me. So yeah. it's taking it back to the roots where we're just talking our shit and we're yeah. just talking like. But I think it's a good one because we, we never really talk about our weaknesses. I mean, I didn't go as depth as you. I'm talking about creativity wise because this is a creative podcast. Yeah. But as far as personal life. Well, not only that, but I feel like that's when my creativity took off when I was mm. like, who gives a shit? I've always wanted to draw because people were were attacking your purple style. Yeah, like purple style, Even, man. including myself. <laughs> yeah, like purple rain and all this yeah. bitch ass comments. Yeah, <laughs> but the reality is, like, if, uh, that's what made you happy at the time. That's what made you happy, though. Yeah, that, that's what made you me didn't like give a fuck. Not made me happy, but I was like, oh shit, I'm onto something. And then like once I like I kind of left off of that, I was like, all right, let's move on to the next thing. Like what our boy Mar said, he was like, like you're always constantly evolving. So I was like, all right, I'm done with this shit. What's what's next? Mm-hmm. And I I had some difficulty finding my way, but then I found it. And then I was like, all right, I found my shit. What's next? And then I went into the lighting thing. And then I was like, all right, what's next? And then that's where I'm at right now. Calm down, Drake. What's next? Not- <laughs> <laughs> but yo, on Instagram, know, he's gonna put a fucking what's next song in the whole I know, time. Yo, like I'm about to go off, man. Like for real. But anyways. At the end of the day, man, 
who gives a shit? Be you. I've known. I've worked with shit. We've worked with a lot of clients who have been like, "Oh, you guys are inspiring." This and that. Like full after, transparency. Yeah, they like, love I'm it. Like, and I and I keep it real with them. I'm like, "Yo, you want to do this? Like, you want to keep doing this? Like, just do it. Who gives a fuck what people think?" And that's our main thing. Like, you can't give a fuck what people think because it's so easy to say. I'm gonna give a little pushback. I'm gonna play a little de- devil's advocate right now. Do it, bro. Run um, it. we're living in social media world where in Instagram we're throwing our highlight reels when it comes to posts stories reels igtv whatever etc cetera, etc cetera, youtube we are posting the best thing the best parts of our lives on social media so we have no flaws i'm not i'll put i'll throw a little pushback with that i'm not doing that yeah. I'm, i've always told you that i like transparency. transparency i like vulnerability because clients will will I, from what i've researched man clients will buy transparency vulnerability um that rather than like yo look at me i'm cool like this and that right and at the end of the day i feel like that sells um other than that i, I can't i honestly I, I from the bottom of my heart i can't tell i can't relate to what you just like kind of are trying to say so for the person that's not selling anything okay you're in the photography business of selling yeah there's a lot of people in instagram just like i'm not selling anything i just want to sell that i'm cool as fuck mm-hmm I want to, I want to, I want to freaking Snapchat myself with a bunch of girls next to me that I barely even know. Yeah. But like, hey, get on my Snapchat. Yeah. Boom. I'll, I'll, I'll uh, that's a little far fetching, but I will yeah. go with our boy Sam. Um, you know, not, not to throw you under the bus, Sam Colder, but <laughs> dude, you got a girl, bro, and you stop creating, bro. The like, real shit, you stop creating. You win MIA. You, you're relying on your course, maybe. <laughs> that's cool, man. But like, to tell you the truth, bro, like I don't want to buy your course if I'm not seeing your work being put to work. <laughs> like passive, passive work is cool, but to to like continue to to continue to build content, then that's cool. Like, I mean, I've even said this to you, bro. Like, I feel like the broken heart is the, is where the the creator makes the best work ever. Yeah, like fucking. But you Kanye, can't rely on like that, Kanye is going through a divorce with with Kim. He's gonna create. He's gonna make the best album fucking ever. But you can't. Re- I swear to God that you can't rely on that though. A broken, know, man, broken heart. Because everyone okay, always, so what do, I've what always, do, what, I've, like for musicians, at least for musicians, like if someone's in love and happy, like legit happy, they make the shittiest fucking music or art. Do you think that's maybe because they're with the wrong partner? Because we that's, were talking about that. We had I mean, that conversation. And debate history with shows, man. I mean, it's easy. It's easy to say that. Okay, so so playing devil's advocate. Push. So, how would you explain, like, okay, how, how, yo, I'm a rapper. I'm trying to get married. I'm trying to be successful. How do I have both worlds? I'm a rapper. I'm trying to be successful and be married. Yeah. I feel like the married artist, oh, man. It's hard. Are you I'm, out there I'm, cheating? I'm, I'm, shit I'm legit or what? going based on history, that, the things that I've seen, no, that, that I've witnessed. But history, for evolved, example, baby. I'm going back to Kanye West. When Kanye West and Amber Rose split up, Fucking Kanye West created My Beautiful Dark Twisted Fantasy, which is for me, it's the greatest album of all time, mm-hmm. and, and and it's critically acclaimed. He was going through a heavy breakup. It was it was post when he freaking um stopped Taylor Swift from the fucking award or whatever when he interrupted her speech, and so he was like going through a really really hard time. His mom just passed and whatnot, so he had a clue broken heart, mm-hmm. and he created the best fucking work of art in my opinion, and a lot of people's opinion too. And he gets married and shit, and he gets really happy with fucking Kim or whatever. Yeah. And like I said, this is just one example, guys. This is this doesn't go with everyone else. And then he creates fucking that gospel piece of shit album. Yeah. So fucking horrible. It's I I fucking made, made me hate him. Like yeah. it was weird. And I'll tell you this. Maybe maybe Kim was like, "Yo, like, honey, like, I don't want you talking about hoes. I don't want you to like talk about that shit." I'm just saying. The the partner, he maybe it was the wrong partner who was influencing him his craft and i'll tell you this much we goes back to teddy we're like what if what if shelby was like yo pete like honey i don't want you shooting models anymore if it's on a guy i don't want you shooting her maybe that would have that happened to me like maybe i would have had the partner and be like okay okay i won't shoot any 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 females because it kind of offends you i don't mm-hmm. know how but it offends you so and then people have been like what the fuck like what, what happened to your content like right. you shooting you men with suits like right like that's weird. Like yeah. we don't want to see that. I mean, I have a million examples of at least musical artists that fucking suck once they're in love and happy with their lives, which is a great thing. You want everyone to be happy, right? And what about and, that fucking guy? Um, 
It's like, and I'm happy. That fucking, uh, fuck, the one and, that wears a hat. Uh, Pharrell? Pharrell. What, what about, about him? him? What about him? Didn't he have a girl? And he's I still successful? don't really know him that well, but it doesn't make know. he could be successful. It doesn't mean he made it. He makes great music though. But he does do poppy shit. So yeah, know. like another example, like Bryson Tiller, he fucking made trap soul when he was heartbroken. Yeah, and then, and then he he he's super happy with his girlfriend. He's all in love, and he fell off the face of the yeah. earth. He dropped an album, True. and it was straight ass. Yeah, I mean, apples and oranges. Yeah, I mean, I was going with what when you said when Sam Cole, like, bro, he stopped creating dope shit. Like he legit, he legit became an ad profile, okay. and and I told him like. Well, you got a girlfriend, and he's super happy. So that is true. Like going back to to to, to like talk shit on myself that I just said, Sam Colder. Maybe you are happy, man. Maybe and it's a good thing, sh- though. It's a good thing. Um, don't get me wrong. It's cool, but I feel like it does affect the work. But I'm just going based on history, based on what I've seen. Like, yeah, the and happy person doesn't make not, the dopest shit. Yeah. and I'm not saying we're not we're not being a, we're not we're not talking about ourselves. Yeah, we're not we're not saying that. Even we're though saying, I, haven't tra- I haven't dropped a travel film in a long time, like <laughs> I know it's a life decision that um, shit. R.I.P. to your creation, bro. If, if that is true, Sam Colder, I'm happy you're you're happy. And if that's and he's making a bit, ba- he's making a bag. Yeah, I'm, I'm not talking shit about your creativity, but yeah. I'm just saying like. It's not the same um, work that he used to do like two years ago. It's not the same. That's all I'm saying, bro. It's not the same. But like you said, people evolve. Yeah, people evolve, and maybe he wants to get out of the game because he's making a shit ton more money, and that's good for you, bro. Yeah, well, and, I'm just and saying, it, it does. It is less work, less pressure. Yeah. yeah, and I'm just saying, I don't want to be that. I want to keep evolving and just keep creating for the rest of my life. That's all I want to do. So we're different. The devil's advocate again. Yeah. It's easy for you to say because no offense to you, but it's the fact. Even for me, you haven't been to his level yet. Yeah. No, and I agree with that. And. Uh, it's hard to say right now, and to keep imagine the word, if you had two million fo- subscribers waiting for your next move. Yeah, I bro, feel, how would you feel that pressure? It'd be so heavy. No, yeah, um, I've, I've, and you have I've to, thought about that, and scenario. you have to drop, yeah, banger after banger yeah. after banger, and not just a banger. It has to beat your last banger. And like I said, it's all come. This all comes down to prioritizing. So, what do you prioritize, money or your art? So, obviously, Sam Colder all prioritizes happiness and money. I I prior I'm. It's dude, easy for you to say this right this now, is, my is, guy. I know it is easy for me to say. I'm not arguing with that. I'm not arguing that to you. I'm saying like the way I see and how I get into this game was okay. I'm gonna create no matter what. The amount of money, like I don't give a fuck. Easy if for you I, to say that right now. Exactly. It's me and him. Me and Sam Cold. Yeah. Oh, I don't know who the fuck I am. Yeah. Um. Well, what's up, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Um. It's just like, yo, like, I'm not there yet. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck he's going through. But for me, from an outside perspective, and it's my opinion, I wouldn't want to be that. So that's all I'm saying. And maybe you. you I, I, I have to agree to disagree on that. Yeah. I mean, this is, we're this, not going to argue this about this podcast. Episode. We don't have to agree on everything. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, this is the moment. This is what we created this podcast for is for the creative game member. It's not called the cash cow. Peace, I'm out, bitches. Like you know what I mean. Right. Like this is this is the shit. Oh my god, what, you, what is that you, you would be the first one to sell out, bro. What is? No, it wasn't, bro. <laughs> I feel like you are, bro. If someone would be yo, like, Pete, two million, I'm out. <laughs> if, if Barstool came here and be like, yo, I'm offering you guys a million um, for the licensing fee. Bro, I, I feel like you're the person to be like, yo, we want you, but we don't want Pete. Like, all right, I'll get that done. <laughs> I have like three missed calls on Sunday. Like, no, nah, bro, it's, it's ride or die, bro. It's ride or die. Relax, relax, my guy. <laughs> uh, what's up, Barstool? The, the two girls that got in a fight or something? Yeah, I'll call me daddy or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And money. And yeah, dude, they got a lot. And ooh, fuck, man. Their significant other got in the way of their friendship and broke the yeah, whole dude. thing off. There was uh, Eve Chopper. And she was, she, was, she was happy. Yeah. I know this is super, I don't know if this is like literally like a year, a story from like a year ago, close to a year ago. So you probably don't know what the fuck we're talking about. But going back to what you're saying, like, oh, like, she's happy or whatever. She found someone that she loves. It's, it's fine and dandy. But like that person broke that business and friendship and podcast. Yeah. She was like, and it's never been the same. Basically, the significant other came and was like, yo, you can do better than this. Like, yeah. Fuck that. How much are you getting paid? Like, nah, I get your better deal. Yeah. Okay. Like, they didn't work out. Yeah. At the end of the day, man. It is uh, pr- or practice what you preach, and that's what I'm doing. I'm the creative. This is the fucking creative. This is for the the creative members. So that's what I'm going to preach till I'm on this podcast. So I get bought out. By until he sells out. Yeah. <laughs> until I sell out. Until Barstool um, fucking offices the bag. We sell friends, bro. I'm <laughs> just kidding. No, but like I said, we're we're different bows. We're different worlds. Sam Colder does his thing. I'm just. 
from my out- this is my personal opinion like from the outside creating, in you stop creating after you got a girl like there's nothing wrong with that he's been creating nothing but ads which i keep seeing it stupid it's like tired of seeing this ad and then you click on the thing it's like report like, yeah i've seen this too often bro yeah like, you know oh I mean? yeah same same well you know we ain't, we ain't, we ain't like talking shit or anything, but um, every creative member has their own path, and um, yeah, it's just our opinions is our motherfucking podcast. I can't we wait till you. I can't wait till you sell out, bro. It's gonna be know, fucking hilarious, shit. For but real. I mean, I, shit, I wouldn't mind it because I would be like, hey, we fucked up. What do you mean? Like, hey, we kind of like the real scene. Like, we were talking <laughs> shit about the reels, and now we love reels. Oh yeah, so it's like same I shit. Know, like, man. You know? Yo, this is uh, finally a good episode where um, you know it's just me and Alberto. Usually we have a guest and. You know, how, how having a guest is a little hard because we have to, like, we don't want to sound unprofessional. We're like, like, hold up, bitch. Like, I'm talking, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it is a yeah. little, like, give and take. We know now. them, but we don't know them, like, in a personal level. Yeah. We get to know them in the potter. Yeah, this is going back to the roots, baby. We we back on episode number fucking one or two. I don't know what the fuck. Season Wayne thir- one. Wayne 39, though. How many seasons do we have, bro? <laughs> Until we sell out. Anyways. <laughs> um, did you hear about the Instagram um update? Or did you, you see just told me right happened? now, bro? I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, going so on here, bro? I'm a, I'm a video head, clearly. So Instagram they updated their app where you could actually watch a. So before, if you watch, if you posted a 60 second video, you would see it on your feed like normal, right? But now there's an option where you could s- click on the bottom left corner. It says "Play Video," and if you click that little button with the "Play Video" head, it'll open a new window where it's kind of like IGTV, but it's not IGTV. So say if you were to post a standard 16 by nine widescreen video before you would see it in a small little frame because it's between two posts, right? Yeah. So now when you play when you press that play button, it opens a whole new window individually for that video yeah. and you can flip it kind of like IGTV and you see the full resolution where it's like the full screen. It covers the whole entire phone. Which yeah. I think is kind of cool because be, prior to that reason, I would never post a 16 by 9 widescreen video because it's so small in the feed that it's like, and data shows that it doesn't perform well in, uh, when it comes to engagement. So I would purposely post a reel, 4x5 mm-hmm. or a reel, but prior to the reels, a 4x5 portrait style video. Yeah. And I would have to crop it and do all that good stuff. Gotcha. So. So it gets to take the most real estate of your out of your phone, yeah. but now they do this. So I think like I would encourage me to post standard nine by sixteen by nine widescreen videos. Now does that do that with uh like let's say you do you we all know that the algorithm works in the favor when you post a video and something else. So like if you were to post a video and a picture, would you be able to do that? Video with the picture when if you were to slide. To Solid the right? question. Based on our, our last post on our Instagram feed that we did with no. Mar, no. Okay. Because we posted a photo that. and then a video and it didn't do that. And yeah. So for the career member out there, like if you post a video and like a picture or like if you post a carousel, basically like Instagram pushes that more. So yes, if you that's just something post, I learned from Jaren. Yeah. Even for me as a photographer, like I do want to post like multiple slides. It's a little hard because I, editing takes a while. So, like, uh, if I want to post multiple pictures, that's like a three day, two day process because I have a nine to five. So, I can't like edit all day. But I'll be like, yo, fuck this shit. I'm posting one picture of yeah. it. Fucking bangs it, bangs it, not whatever. Yeah. I mean, it, like, to you, it doesn't matter because you're getting the business already. Like, yeah. it doesn't, the engagement doesn't, it's whatever. It's a plus, but you don't really care because you're actually getting the actual bag. So, it doesn't yeah. matter. But, if I'm talking just Instagram engagement strategy, it does based on what Jaron told me. Like, it, um, by the way, Jaron is the BMX rider that Rafi shoots all the time. He gave me this little pro tip. It does perform better compared yeah. to a one oh, yeah. photo still. No, I have noticed that because you're you're encouraging people to swipe, and it's they're staying in that even if they don't even engage. The fact that they're staying in that f- feed, it encourages Instagram like, oh, they're here for a longer than X amount of seconds. We're going to push this to more people. Yeah. And I heard it. It Shit. I don't know if you notice this, but sometimes I begin like po- like a post I didn't see. And it's like a carousel. Oh, it's yeah. Like two days later. Like, I, is this I, I've, two se- days? I've seen posts up to a fucking week. Yeah. And I was like, I like it. I was like, oh, shit. Like, this is like two days yeah. ago. Like, how yeah. the fuck didn't I see this? Yeah. And it's because it's a carousel. Yeah. And it, it, and it's going against the, um, you know how everybody wants the chronological order to come back. Yeah. Which it's not going to happen. No. So stop asking for it, guys. Yeah. Like. 
and shit, I don't know if you guys noticed, but there was a time where like you couldn't see your likes, which was, it was for like thirty seconds. Though, yeah, no. like, <laughs> it was like for like six hours. Yeah, and we talked about like if we liked it or not. I still yeah. don't care if they were to they, they were to get get rid of it. I wouldn't care. I personally wouldn't care either. Um, because I feel like people should focus on the actual image yeah. or video compared to the actual likes and engagement because people do get swayed if there's a higher number of engagement they're gonna want to engage on it and if there's a low number of engagement they're less likely to engage on it which is so stupid but that's just the brain works automatically perfect segue um a, a client that we the client we shot posted a big brand bro they have like 3.5 million and they commented and i was like who the fuck who commented with a check no free mark? ads no free ads fuck <sighs> that and I was like, who the fuck commented? Lululemon, bro. Yeah. And I said 3.5 million. I saw that. And I was check mark. I was like, what the fuck? And I was like, oh, fuck. And they commented. I was like, and then like they're following like 180. And I was like, what the fuck? That's crazy. And then it goes to I show you. I like, already threw a DM out there. Shit, that's low key shit, bro. Next episode. <laughs> that's when I sell out, bro. Peace. Y'all ain't gonna <laughs> hear about I this sell shit, out. Bro. I'm being barsed. Yo, go bro, check my barsed. Ma- you're making all the local <laughs> photographers hate you right now. <laughs> I know. Fuck that. Um. You're not the best photographer. You <laughs> shut the fuck up, fool. Like, bro, like, yo, we had we had more than usual drinking before this episode. So fuck bro, you, bro. I had I, I had I had a couple of uh, old fashions before bro, you we went started to the happy hour. Or... You went to happy Hell hour. Yeah. The local fucking French Mexican. Yo, shout out to nah, fucking nah, no plugins, bro. <laughs> but yeah, um, you're so you're still not gonna post a carousel, which I I feel like you'd be good at nah, it, bro. We I were on. Like, I feel like you could recycle i mean not many people like to recycle even though we have there's creators out there like that love to recycle we always clown them yeah no it it goes to show you that um if this big ass brand like saw like and i stuck out like it's just like one picture that's all you need man uh for photography yeah photography sure um if you want more more gigs then if 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 photography is your whole like your main career then yeah maybe you want to do carousel but for me like i'm a weekend warrior uh have a nine to five job I'm, i'm making enough where like I have three to four shoots a month, yeah, and that's and pushing you're, and it. You're and you're comfortable I'm, with yeah, that. I'm comfortable with that. I'm making good with, amount of money, more than full time photographers. Yeah, I don't know. facts. And that's that's just because of my my pricing. Because I charge a certain amount. Not not everybody can afford me not to stun or anything. But I'm saying where Talk I'm at shit, now. King. Now where I'm at, like it's like that's where that I fucking hit or no was good. I know. Yo, what the fuck you say? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. Yeah, I know me, man. I'm, I'm just playing. I'm just fucking. I will say this. Like, as me, as a videographer, I do like the carousel because now I could post videos that I would never post on my main grid. I don't know if you saw my last post on the Hawaii um, photography that I posted. Yeah, yeah. I posted a whole carousel. It was like picture, 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 then video. And I posted a video that I would never lead on my main post. That's Yeah, I, I love that you and brought I, that up because for me, like, I'll have a banger. And I'm like, ah, like I have closer, similar bangers, but B tiers, B tier post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, like, B or C tier post. Yeah. And um, that's just what I do. Yeah. So I that like video that. was like, literally, I would never in a million years post that shit. Like, there's a lot in my archives that I would never post it. As a headliner. Fun. It's headliner. Still, exactly. <laughs> it's still fire. Trust me, it's still fire. But it's like B plus material. I'm like, yeah. bro, I want to post A plus shit. Like, but now that I with the carousel, I could. It gives me a little bit more freedom to post shit that i would generally never post because it will get lost in the shuffle with the carousel yeah so like that video that i posted on my hawaii uh, helicopter fucking tour um i was like this is a good shot i like this video let me fucking cut it up edit it grade it and post it on my fucking sixth slide yeah and it worked out really good i agree with that i agree with that and like i say guys we're not we're not here to fucking um i'm not here i'm personally i'm not here to be like i'm the best photographer in san diego i'm just saying i'm just saying what i'm saying like this right. is my personality and i just like make fun of stuff um even though my work is fire <laughs> i like to make fun of myself so there's something about pete that. something about pete guys like this guy loves to fuck around and clown yeah. and so, he, he's not shy to yeah, troll yeah, himself yeah, yeah. i'm not i'm not here to fucking be serious when i say yeah. i'm the best photographer for san diego i'm not being serious motherfucker so don't take that to heart motherfucker <laughs> go listen to the podcast man. <laughs> don't, don't don't listen to shit anyways uh, let's go to frame uh of frame, the week. frame of the week guys you'll see here in the whiteboard and this is going to at cory lynn underscore creative she's on some Sir. like i mean it looks like some fucking photoshop shit i don't even should do, i don't even know if she did this in photoshop or not but Give me some Ziki film vibes. Yeah, bro. I, I was like, what the fuck? That's dope. I would have that as a print, like in my bathroom or like my hallway. Yeah, yeah it was weird. You said that you would like Fire. that as a print, man. Yeah. Um, 
I think it's a dope photo. Yeah. Uh, she does have a caption, but I didn't. I not. like the um the the lines, the leading lines everywhere. Like oh yeah, burst. Yeah, definitely gives you a really dramatic look. So her caption is a little pop art for your Thursday afternoon. I love pop art. I've never even heard of pop art in my life. Do you know what the fuck that is? Nah, dude. If if yo anyone who knows about pop art, un, um, comment down below in the comments. Yeah. And back to her caption. It's not my usual style, but I love dabbling in it when I get inspired. Let me know what you guys think. And this is something foreign to her. She usually creates. So she is a procreate creator. If that makes any fucking sense. It's like a a Apple software. I think it's an Apple software where you like kind of like draw on your iPad. Yeah. Um, And so like she does all this like. Crazy I mean, would you call it outlining. abstract? Like, I don't know. Yeah, it's like a outlining of a picture, but yeah. she makes it into her own, um, like, universe. It's yeah, pretty and dope. so, like, she sells pieces of art. So, if you guys are into that shit, like, it's actually the art pieces that you see right behind yeah, Pete. Behind those are her pieces of art. So, um, Is there? go ahead and support your local, uh, your local creative. Yeah. Fuck yeah. So, at Corey Lynn underscore creative, shouts to you. And I definitely uh, have to hit her up about that piece. Yeah, and thanks for supporting the Potter for yeah. sure. Shout outs. But yeah, Pete. Any uh, last um, last tips the, what about the, knowing yourself and forgiving yourself and any more weaknesses, Pete? Yourself? <laughs> <laughs> Let me look good, Pete. Yo, so I don't want <laughs> let's start trying and shit. Yo, this is back to the this is back to the basis, baby. We back, man. It feels good to have an episode where it's just me and you. Yeah, just talking um, our shit. Yeah, man, just talking our shit. Uh, going back to our roots. Guys, if you are not following the podcast, give it a follow at In The Frame Podcast. Um, and personal accounts, Pete, where can people find you? PeterCollinFrames.com, PeterCollinFrames on Instagram. Bro, follow us because it's going to be a wild weekend yep. in uh, Arizona, Scottsdale. Yep. Shouts to them because they're, the only, they're one of the few states that are open, open. Yep. Um, and you can find me at A underscore Mendoza underscore. And you already know I'm going to create one of those fucking slide reels, swipe reels uh, yep. during um, that weekend. So it's going to be. I'm definitely going to vlog. It's going to be like medium rare style. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and then like post them on YouTube and then delete them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fucking pussies. I hate. Oh, oh, that's man. such a good it's podcast. Uh, anyways. Uh, but yeah, um, if you're on Spotify, make sure you hit that share button. Put it on your Instagram stories. Give us a tag. If you are on Apple Podcasts, give us a five star rating and give us a comment. Let us know if we're good or not. <laughs> Let us know what you guys want to hear. Yeah. Let us know um, if you if you want to be on this podcast. Like yo, DM us. Yeah, if you're um, willing to make the trip to Oceanside. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You got to be in here. Yeah, facts. And if you uh, are on YouTube, hit that subscribe button. Stop lurking. Um, get, hit is the there? like button. Do us a favor. We're not asking for any money. We're just asking for some digital currency by giving that thumbs up. Which takes literally a split second. Also, the fucking links. If you guys want to buy one of these cameras, one of these lenses, one of these lights. Yeah. The fuck. All our camera gear is listed in our description on YouTube. So if you're wondering how we're producing this podcast, every single piece of gear this? is on our YouTube channel on the description. So there you go. Yeah. I mean, as, as far as we go with that. Yeah. Um, this is going to do for episode number 39 in the frame podcast next yeah, week. We have a pretty dope guest next week. Yeah. Next week. It's going to be fire. Episode 40. Bro? I feel like, I feel like, so every guest we have, I feel like, yo, that was our best guest. Yeah. Yo, that was our best guest. Like, yo, it's like getting better and better. So like, fuck yeah. dude. Like, it's insane. I love that. We're having guests in the potter. We evolving, and it's like, bro. yeah. Yeah. Like, um, that's fucking sick. We're having successful guests too. Yeah. And like, they're making like six figures plus. That's yeah. Insane. And I always say three ninety nine. Like all we ask is to you guys to fucking go on Spotify or on Apple and share this shit. That's it. Yeah. Share this to creative. I'm you guys stop the- doing. If you guys stop doing that shit, we're going to stop doing this shit. Facts. It's just a lot of work. Man. Psych. Fuck y'all. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we're doing, we're doing what the fuck we want to do, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to do shit. Next week is 40, bro. That's the Big new 21. 40. Big 40. That's the new 21, bro. I'm just saying. That's what 40 heads say. Episode number 40. Next week. We'll catch you on episode number 40. This is the this is it for 39. Deuces. Peace.